Hello everyone, back again with another horror collection vape video. I got six titles that I'm going to talk about today. I got them all set out in uh, alphabetical order. So I'm just going to get right into it. Alright, so first up we have Blood Theater. Now this is the only title in this update that I haven't watched yet. But uh, the main reason is that I don't expect it to be very good. I haven't heard any good things about it. This might be one of those so bad it's good kind of situations. That's what I'm hoping anyways. And this one also stars uh, Mary Waranoff. I'm really excited to have another movie with her in it. Um, she was in uh, Eating Raul and Terror Vision. And this one is about like this theater that they're trying to renovate. And there's some kind of psychotic killer in the theater bumping people off one at a time. This is a retro media release. Uh, it's actually my first. I don't really have too many anything else from them that I can think of anyways. So I will sit down and watch this at some point. Next up, we have The Guest, and this is um, a film directed by Adam Weingard, and uh, I actually really enjoyed this film a lot. Uh, this film is about this family, who I guess, who have just lost their son in the uh, Iraq War, and um, one of his old buddies comes to stay with them for a couple days, and they're happy to have him because it's kind of like a surrogate son situation, and he's kind of helping the family out and stuff, but it turns out he isn't who he says he is. And things take a turn for the worse. Now this movie is really awesome. The first part of this movie is like the standard, you know, bring a stranger into your home that's helping you out. And he ends up being a bad person. And and that's why I really didn't want to see the movie initially. But I figured I'd give it a chance because I heard such good things about it. But the last third of the movie takes a, a, a really cool turn. And I won't even get into it because it becomes a different kind of movie. Um, and it, even more so enjoyable. But, um... I highly recommend this movie if you haven't uh, seen it already. This is my favorite of the three uh, Adam Weingart movies that he's made so far. Um, the other two I have in my collection are You're Next and The Horrible Way to Die. All right. Next up, we have The House at the End of Time. And this is a Spanish movie. It's like a ghost story. Um, I was really excited to get this movie, and then I was disappointed when I started watching it. But basically, this is about um, this woman who... Um, has her son and her husband murdered and she gets framed for the murders. They're murdered through some supernatural shenanigans and um, she spends 30 years in an institution but then she becomes too ill to uh, stay in there so they send her back to her home under um, police arrest. So she's in her house, she can't leave and then supernatural stuff starts happening but she's trapped in the house and she's trying to deal with it. Um, this movie, I don't know, I think what bugs me most about this film is they use the same actress from when she was older and when she was young. It's like they put makeup on her and the makeup is really too noticeable and it was distracting and took me out of the movie. I will sit down and try to finish this film. It's just that I just wasn't feeling it at the time. All right. Next we have Only Lovers Left Alive and this is a vampire movie. Um, this one stars Tom Hiddleston and Tilda Swinton. Now. I was a little iffy on this movie too initially, mainly because this is one of those lonely vampire type movies as opposed to the killer monster vampire movies. And basically you got Tom Hiddleston who plays like this um, reclusive rock star and he's living in Detroit. And then his wife, um, she's a, uh, across the globe in a Middle Eastern country and he's contemplating suicide. And uh, so she comes to stay with him for a bit in Detroit to help him work through his shit and um, things kind of go downhill from there. This movie actually is kind of cool. If you like music, you'll really like this film. It's got a great soundtrack, you know, because he's always working on his music and you can hear his music and stuff. It's still a really cool movie. I'm, I'm happy to have this in my collection. Next we have The Last Days and this is uh, another Spanish science fiction movie. Now this movie, what it's about is there's some kind of epidemic, and they call it the panic. And basically what happens is, um, if you try to go out outside into the open open air, openness, um, you have a panic attack, and then when 30 seconds, your nervous system shuts down and, and you die. And basically there's, there's, there's two main characters that are trapped at their workplace. Like one guy is like an IT guy, or some kind of programmer, and the other guy is like actually an efficiency expert who was actually brought in to fire him. But they get trapped there and they've been there for a couple months. But the thing is, their loved ones are 
somewhere else and they want to get to their loved ones. So they find a way to escape from their office through some underground tunnels and they're trying to get to their loved ones to see if they're still alright or still alive and that. And meanwhile society has already crumbled in the short time that people were no longer able to go outside. Um, this is an okay movie and for the most part I enjoyed it. But when it gets to the last 20 minutes it kind of falls apart a little bit and I was a little disappointed that they couldn't end it better than they actually did. But um, this one reminded me a little bit of um, of The Happening, but it's actually better than The Happening. Okay, next up we have Where. Now this is a film that I've been looking at. I've been seeing at the family video store whenever I go there. And I've always passed up on it because it looked kind of lame. But then I started reading some reviews and it turns out that it was supposed to be a decent movie. So I decided to bite the bullet and pick this one up. And basically, this movie is about, at the beginning, there's like a, a family that's, that's having, that's camping. And then they get slaughtered by some kind of creature. And um, at first, everyone's like, this has got to be some kind of animal. But the police end up ar arresting a person for the crime. And uh, the person looks a little bit off, like he's hairier than normal, and he's tall, he's a big dude that rarely talks. Um, and then they bring in an attorney to defend him, played by A.J. Cook. And her whole thing is trying to prove that it was actually done by an animal so um so they're trying to go through the the motions of proving their theory because uh, supposedly because of his affliction he's supposed to be really weak so they, they work on some tests and then shit hits the fan this movie is actually really really cool like um it's kind of like a new spin on the werewolf type um myth and i really enjoyed this one a lot um I highly recommend this movie to anyone that likes werewolf type movies. And last up, we have Zombievers. Now this was a recommendation from uh, TJ Pyramid. I want to thank you a lot, Joe, for that, because I, I watched your review a couple of weeks ago, and I finally was able to pick this movie up. Unfortunately, here in Canada, um, it's there's no uh, Blu-ray, just DVD, but this one's a lot of fun. I like the, the female leads in it. Sorry guys, my camera died on me there, right in the middle of uh, finishing what I was saying. So anyways, um, zombie beavers. Um, the plot of this one is fairly simple. Um, you, there's like um, a trio of girls that are planning to spend uh, the weekend at this cottage that's out by the lake. Uh, unfortunately, some toxic waste has spilled off into the, uh, the lake. And it's infected all the all the beavers and turned them into um, zombie beavers. So um, they're all there minding their own business, and then they get attacked by the beavers. This movie is is, is really really amusing. It's it's very funny. Um, it's even set up for a sequel, but I hope they don't make one, only because um, you know it won't be as good. Most likely, maybe it could be, but I don't know. There's very few. Uh, um, sequels to like either comedies or horror films that I actually really enjoy as much as uh, the first one so um so that's my update guys um I guess that's it thanks for watching and I'll talk to you all later